Hey y'all, Chris with Catch Pro Wildlife Removal here, out here catching squirrels this morning. Uh, just going to show you what we got, how we how we tr usually set up a squirrel job, and uh, why we do it. So here, <clears throat> here's our culprit, and you can see, you can kind of see the hole. These these junctions where these roof lines come together are uh, classic areas because often there's just a small gap. But the way I like to set these up, I don't want to stress the squirrel out too much, but I've got one trap set up that's a one-way trap. So if there's anything inside the house, it comes out, it gets caught, and then it can't, it can't go back in and it can't get out. That way we know we're not locking anything inside the house. We'll leave that for a couple days. I also set up at least one tra trap, a baited trap outside, so that if there's one outside and he comes to try to get back in, he can't get in, but maybe he sees the bait, he goes in and we get caught like that. That way we make sure we're removing the problem squirrels and confirming that there's none trapped in the attic before we do the final seal up. So one of the important things to look for to make sure one of the important things that I always look for when I'm trapping squirrels and that's why I like to use the traps so that we can positively identify and remove the squirrels is I can look for the sexual organs. So it's kind of weird but that is definitely a male squirrel. Um, and so <clears throat> that's not a concern. He can be removed, not concerned about any others in the house. But at certain times of the year, if we catch a female squirrel that may be lactating, um, you know, then we know, hey, we need to look inside the house to make sure, or inside the attic to make sure there are no young in there present that we need to remove also. So one of the things, again, there's so many little intricate details to think about, but uh, depending on the time of the year, you know, whenever you're catching animals out of a house, it's always important to think through that. You know, what are the possibilities of others being in the house in present? How can I positively identify that there are or are not? Uh, so just another thing to be considering when you're when you have critters in your attic and you're talking to people trying to figure out how to get them out